Last week, a volcano exploded on planet Bazoik, launching particles of rock into space. One of these asteroids was captured and brought to our lands for testing. We were investigating these blobules as proof of snack life on other planets when we discovered that they actually contain eggs to an evil snack-eating creature from another dimension. When the eggs are exposed to nutritional substances, they hatch into what we call... Flemoids. Two days ago, we lost contact with the people on Bazoik, including five members of the Chex Mix Squadron. We can only assume the Flemoids have taken over. To make matters worse, we have found that conventional weapons seem to have no effect on these Flemoids. However, by recalibrating the phase frequency of our Zorchers, we can send the Flemoids back to their own dimension. We need a volunteer to fly to the caverns of Bazoik and attempt to rescue the missing units there. That's ridiculous. What soldier be fool enough to enter a cavern full of unstoppable Flamoids from another dimension? I'm from Chexmix Squadron, and I volunteer. Setting coordinates for adventure. Watch out, Flemoids! Fred Chexter has arrived! Stronger. Nailing it. I didn't think it was possible. Stronger. There it is. I 
I knew it. first. I didn't think it was possible, but I feel stronger. This key will be useful for opening doors. Now where is a blue door? This ain't my first level. Hmm, it's big. 
It's got four walls, a ceiling, a floor. This must be a big room. Normally, I prefer the stairs. For the purpose. I didn't think it was possible, but I feel stronger. If it's that dangerous, it must be the way. Time to climb aboard. This milk could spoil. I better get it out of here. I feel stronger. I didn't think it was possible. On the right track. There appears to be even more dairy. I hate to waste all this person.
A bit soggy for my taste. Success. Man, I love adventures. the stairs. That's a lot of lab.
A key? What could it all mean? Poor little guy. I swallowed a key once too. Yes, I was hoping there'd be lasers. Now, how do I turn this thing on? You can't hide from Fred Chexter. Safety first. Now that's what I call a sticky key.
I didn't think it was possible, but I feel stronger. Let's get digital. I'm about to take this next level to the next level. Oof! Higher resolution is not your friend. I didn't think it was possible, but I feel strong. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now let's flip that switch. I can flex and bust through it. Finally, a way forward. And my school counselor said I'd never be able to solve a maze. Look at me now. Safety first. Hmm, cavernous. A little too cavernous.
<laughs> Safety first. <laughs> There sure are a lot of tunnels. Ooh, a big torture. Take that, door.
I wonder how far I could skip this thing. Eh, I better hold on to it. Out of my way, Gate. Afraid of heights? Ha! Heights are afraid of me! One step closer to saving the squadron. <laughs> Must have opened something, right?
must going A slime waterfall. Friend. This texture sure is big majestic. and strong, like majestic me. and sticky. It's always the slime waterfall you least expect. Please help us. We're stuck. Don't worry. I'll get you out of this gunk. Okay. Let's make a break for it. We're almost there. Oh, no! Gotta break free! Thank you. We gather here today to honor those Chex Mix warriors who paid the highest price to secure our safety and freedom from the Flemoid menace. My heart is heavy with grief at the terrific loss of nutrients to the Flemoid hordes, but filled with gratitude for our heroes who did not perish defending Bazoik and stand here today receiving our highest honor, the Czech's Dalian of Bravery. Without their relentless courage, we would be deprived of the precious nutrients that contribute to the health and happiness of every citizen member of the IFS. So, on behalf of the entire galaxy, we thank the Czech's Mix Squadron. You truly are the perfect mix. By this point, I'd been battling the Flemoids since 96. So it was time for me to throw myself back into my greatest adventure of all, fatherhood. As you may have expected, I apply the same intensity to home life as I do my hero life. I don't run errands, I sprint them. I don't take temperatures, I give them. I stung the spelling bee, and I grill with the strength of ten dads. Do I miss the life of adventure? Sure, 
But heroic fatherhood isn't just about me. It's about the youngsters. The next generation. Fred Jr. Fredelina. Other Fred Jr. Just look at their triceps. They'll be saving the galaxy in no time. <clears throat> yep, looks like my heroing days are over. Oh no!